really sad, but in today's world, kids are always safe in their own neighbourhood. So when the kids decided to play video games at a neighbour's house and mum and dad didn't really care, it was up to me to keep them out of arm's way. <laughs> James likes to go to his friend's house, and Tyler often follows along, and they'll play games that they're supposed to play. Let me see, let me see, let me see that one. This one got T written on it. It says teen. It says violent. What's it mean when they say violence? When they say it's violent, it's not really violent. They're just trying to get you to play. He's lying. In video games, you race, shoot, and um, tackle. You pop. <laughs> <laughs> really, you do. But this one's got M on it. It was yeah. M rating for mature. Which is really a very, very game. Right, right. These kids are seven years old, and yet they're playing video games that are for teen, 10 plus, and M for mature. You wouldn't want kids this young watching an R-rated movie. <laughs> this is a scary thing, and, you know, parents have got to be in control of this and get a grip. I'll kill you. Get <laughs> The next thing I needed to do was to educate this family about the video game's rating system. Only 21% of kids say that their parents have any rules about the video games they can play. So this is information that a lot of families need to hear. Lesson today, game ratings, all right? What does it mean? Everyone. What's this one? Oh, that is e 10. You have to be 10, but you can't be under 10 to play those. I didn't know that there was a E10 and up. I thought that any E game was suitable for my kids. What's that a one, Dad? Game. Teenagers, 13 and up. What's this one? M for mature, meaning a game found in our house. <laughs> I've played an M game before, but I don't know anymore. What was the M game like? Shooting, cussing. No more saying cuss words, guys. It's inappropriate and violent. If you say a cuss word, then you're like, going to jail, and you're like, when you go to jail, when you go to jail, if you say if you say a cuss word, you go to jail. And when you go to jail, if you said a cuss word, then you're only going to eat broccoli and other vegetables for your whole life. You Robbing and killing. James, which is the word to play? I want to play one team game. It's not even bad. Let him read the back of tea. Read, read the back of tea. A contained violence. Suggestive themes, minimal blood. Okay, so does that sound like something that you should be playing? <laughs> Do we w want any of these things in our house? It's just a game. But it's you act it out. Learning about the video game ratings has made mum and dad realise that they need to pack up those teen games right away. And when James, their eldest son, realised what that meant, he started to get upset. Okay, so this should have a big red check mark for it because it's not allowed in our house. Nor are you allowed to play it at anyone else's house. So why don't you pick some oh, that great. you think are allowed here in this house? When Joe showed me the ratings for the video games, I didn't really like it because I used to be able to play teen games, but now I can't. T teen. for teen is out. What? All the fun games are gone. I can't even play my favorite game. You only got a couple years. It'll fly by, I promise you. Before you know it, you'll be 20 and wishing you were 10 again, okay? I feel that, you know, a lot of kids get exposed to so much so early, but whilst we are in our own homes and we have communication with our neighbours and our friends, you know, we can do as much as we possibly can to control that situation. Ultimately, parents are responsible for the video games their kids play, whether that's at a neighbour's house or in their own home.
So when Holly told me that she really didn't know how to discuss the video games with her neighbour, I took the liberty to invite her into her own home so we could discuss this straight away. What you decide to do with your child is one thing. What you decide to do with your child is one thing. So how do we clear that up so that Jane can turn around and say, oh, well, I've got around to Colton's and I can do it there. And what can the pair of you do together to make sure that that can... I you have each other's number? Not yet. Right. No, we don't. Listen, don't worry. Do it's so important to be able to communicate constantly with your neighbours, especially when your kids spend so much time in each other's homes. So the nice thing is at least then you know that you've got each other's support. We're going to converse more often so that we know how our kids are behaving at each other's house.